so who here has caught themselves using words like coincidence? or serendipity, or synchronicity, or fate, or karma. Come on, show me your hands. Yeah, well, you're in the right room. <laughs> and I know it might not be you, but it could be somebody you know that keeps attracting negative things over and don't say, right? Let me see your hand. If you, not you, but somebody you know. OK. <laughs> Did you know that both of those reasons are because of law of attraction? So whether it's something positive you're attracting or whether it's something negative that you're attracting, it's because of law of attraction. So whether you like it or not, or whether you believe it or not, or whether you understand it or not, law of attraction is existing in your life right now. And the challenge is I can't prove it to anybody. I can't put it in a Petri dish or a test tube and put it around the room and say, hey, this is law of attraction, do you believe me now? But what if you left here today with some tools and strategies that you could tap into this mysterious law of attraction and get results in the next couple days and you might say, wow, is this ever a coincidence? This is so serendipitous, this is so synchronistic. Say yes if you're open to having that experience. Yes. yes. Now, you know, I've been teaching Law of Attraction since 1998. I've taught hundreds of thousands of people, literally. But I only have 30 minutes to give you the best of the best of. So I'm going to be using what's called accelerated learning techniques. And you're thinking, what's that? Well, let's read it backwards. It's techniques that are going to help accelerate your learning. So would it be OK for the next 30 minutes, I taught you what took me 12 years to master? Say yes or no? Yes. I might even get you to say yes or no once in a while. Say yes or no if that's OK. Yes. yes, and I might even repeat myself. And I might even repeat myself, and when I do that, it's going to help integrate the information, because here's my promise to you. You're going to learn in the next 30 minutes why you're attracting negative things, because I know that you know that you are. Say yes or no? Yes. yes. What's up with that? How can positive, loving, caring people possibly attract negative things? In the next 17 minutes or earlier, you're going to clearly understand why you are. Say yes if that might be you. Yes, why you might be attracting negative things, and more importantly, what you can do starting today to stop attracting negative things and start attracting positive things. Say yes if you're in. Yes. Very good. So when I ask you to participate, it's for your purposes, so you can integrate the information so much so you can practice it and take it home and teach it to your family. Say yes if that's OK. Yes. Very good. I'm going to give you the definition for law of attraction. It states, I attract to my life and business Whatever I give my attention, energy, and focus to. And you're thinking, wow, that's a pretty good deal. I only need to give it attention, energy, and focus? Well, yes, but I'm not done the sentence, whether negative or positive. I'll say it all again. I attract to my life and business whatever I give my attention, energy, and focus to, whether negative or positive. You see, a lot of people give uh, law of attraction a lot of credit for the positive things. But guess what? Everything that you're attracting, what is it? Everything that you're attracting is because of law of attraction. So it's important for you to find out what it is. How do I control it? <laughs> how do I stop attracting negative things? That's what I'm going to teach you today. But I'm going to give you a shorter definition for law of attraction. It is. It's all about vibes. Say yes if you've ever used the word vibe. Yes. Sure you have. You might say, wow, are the vibes ever good in this room? Or he's putting off a negative vibe. Or she puts off a negative vibe. So again, say yes if you use the word vibe. Yes. Sure you have. But the word vibe is a cute little four-letter word, but it actually comes from the longer word vibration. vibration. So what I'm doing right now is I'm demystifying the word vibration. You think, what's that? Well, guess what? A vibration is simply a vibe, and a vibe is simply a mood or a feeling. So what is a vibe? It's a, a mood or a feeling. So right now, and right now, and right now, all of us have a mood or a feeling. Even if you deny having one, right now you have a mood or a feeling. Even if you don't even know what it's called, right now you have a mood or a feeling. And that mood or feeling is causing you to put off, or send off, or emit a vibe. You think, ooh, I did not even know that 10 minutes ago. But guess what? Right now, right now, right now, everybody's putting off a vibe. And you're not even doing it on purpose. I'm going to teach you today how to be a deliberate sender of your vibration. Why do you need to know that? Because law of attraction is in this room right now. And there's two kinds of vibes, negative and positive. And law of attraction has a job description. You know, I moved to Victoria in about 20 years ago, and I worked for the BC government for a year. And in that period, I had a job description. And my job description was 10 pages long. And the very last item said, and anything else we want you to do. Have you ever seen one of those job descriptions? <laughs> but the job description for law of attraction is easy. Matter of fact, it's only two words long. 
You see, law of attraction is this universal energy around us, and I can't even prove it. But I am going to give you tools and processes today that you'll use so you'll get your own proof, and you'll say, wow, this stuff is such a coincidence. It's so serendipitous. Matter of fact, anytime you use the word fate or karma or meant to be or everything fell into place, you're discussing, you are talking about evidence of law of attraction. So whenever you say, wow, this is such a coincidence. This is so serendipitous. Something just came to me out of the blue. You could really say... This is so law of attraction. But my job is to teach you how to have more deliberate serendipitous, synchronistic, fate and karma moments. Say yes if you're in. Yes. Very good. Now, the, the job description for law of attraction is pretty easy. It's only two words long. And I want you to repeat them nice and loud after me. The first word is match, match. Vibrations. vibrations. What an easy job that is. Imagine the help, help want it, vibrational matcher. No brain required. <laughs> you see, law of attraction doesn't have a brain. It doesn't have a conscience. It doesn't make decisions. It doesn't decide. It doesn't have favoritism. And it's not prejudice. It is obedient. And right now, it's eavesdropping on my vibration. And when am I sending a vibe? Right now. Because every moment, including right now and right now and right now, everybody has a mood or a feeling. So that mood or feeling is causing me to put off or send out, emit a positive negative vibration. And the obedient law of attraction is in this room. And it's checking and checking and checking, responding to my vibration by giving me more of the same. So remind me, what's the two-word job description for law of attraction? Yeah. Match vibrations. Now, wouldn't it be ideal if I had a handheld vibrational meter reader? And I could give myself a quick little scan to find out what my vibes are. And the vibrational meter reader would either point to the negative side or the positive side. But you all know this is not a vibrational meter reader. There's no such thing as one in your hand. But all of you have one internally. All of you have an internal vibrational meter reader, and it's called your feelings. Your feelings are the indicator whether you're putting off or sensing or uh, giving out a positive or negative vibe. So we're going to do a little exercise. I want you to shout out some moods or feelings that when you have them, it causes you to send a negative vibe. What's an example? Sadness. Sadness. What else? Yeah. Anger, stress, guilt, shame, blame, disappointment. Matter of fact, when I'm angry, do I do this? Am I ever angry? I better send the negative vibe that goes with it. Do you have to do that? No. <laughs> is it true that you could stab beside somebody and pick up their negative vibe, yes or no? So a vibe isn't something that you smell or taste or hear or see. A vibe is something that you feel. So remember I said a vibe equals a mood or a feeling. The word vibe comes from the longer word vibration. So right now, whether you like it or not, or understand it or not, or even doing it on purpose or not, all of us are sending a vibe. And if I had a handheld vibrational meter, I could scan all of you and find out what your vibes are. But you don't need to have one. You can tell by how you feel. I know that you know that I know that you meet somebody and right away you can feel that you're on the same vibe. Is that true? You might even say, wow, do I ever like you? Call me every five minutes, you're my new best friend. Have you done that before? <laughs> and how long does it take to know you're not in vibrational harmony? Seconds. Seconds. Now, law of attraction's job right now, it's eavesdropping on our vibration. And it's unfolding and orchestrating whatever needs to happen. So when I'm feeling sad and lonely and disappointed and guilt, shame and blame, I'm sending off a negative vibe. Tell me some moods or feelings that create a positive vibe. Love. Joy, laughter, bliss, appreciation, happiness, joy, abundance. Matter of fact, if I opened up a dictionary and I highlighted every feeling word, they would end up in one of the two sides. So I'm, right now, some people say, well, what about the feeling in the middle? There isn't one. Every feeling makes you send a positive or negative vibration. And the obedient law of attraction is responding to that by giving you more of the same. That's the definition. And a shorter definition of law of attraction is, if you've attracted it, you have had to send the vibration that created it. And I know some people are saying, well, I didn't say that I wanted to attract a cheating boyfriend or girlfriend, or I didn't say I wanted to attract bad sales or no clients or an accident or a rude neighbor. Michael Loge said, if I attracted it, I have had to send the vibration that created it. You don't put on your bath and mirror, I attract negative things. So why is it that you might be attracting them? Well, guess what? I'm going to explain all of that. It's very important for you to understand that uh, why you're attracting negative things, and today you're going to learn how to change that. 
So I want you to imagine I have four big boxes. Here's one here, three. Here's a box in front of me. I'm going to take a dictionary and shake it upside down. All the words of the dictionary fall into the box. So now I have a box of words. words. So I'm going to reach inside the box of words. I'm going to pull out some words. I'm going to string them together to form a thought. So guess what? In box number two, I have a box of thoughts. So I'm going to reach inside the box of thoughts. I'm going to pull out a thought. I'm going to think it longer, a minute longer or lesser. And as I hold any thought, it causes me to send a vibration or a vibe. So now I've got a box of vibes. Remind me of the two kinds of vibes again? Positive, Positive and negative. So guess what? I'm going to reach in my vibe box. I'm going to pull out of a vibe and I'm thinking, ooh, this sure is ugly. It's a negative vibe. And I'm thinking, why do I have a negative vibe? Let's walk backwards. I have a negative vibe because I had a what? I had a negative thought. And what was inside the negative thought that caused a negative vibe? The words. The words that I'm using are forming the thoughts that I'm thinking. The thoughts that I'm thinking are causing me to send the vibration that I'm sending. But guess what? You all learned something new today, if you didn't already know. As I'm holding or having any vibration, negative or positive, law of attraction is checking and checking and checking. And what does it do when it finds a vibration, negative or positive? It, it matches it because the two-word job description is what? match vibration. So as I'm holding this positive or negative vibration, law of attraction is responding to it, then I get more what? In box number four, it starts with the letter R, I get more results. Very good. Now I'm in my result box. What are the two kinds of results I could be getting? Positive, positive and negative. My hunch is you all could look in your results box and pull out a negative one. Say yes if that might be you. Yes. Say yes if that might be you. Yes. <laughs> You're thinking, ooh, why am I getting a negative result? Why am I getting, why, can't, why are people canceling? Why am I people not buying my product? Why are people being rude to me? Why am I people picking on me? Why am I being bullied? All the negative results, guess what? You understand that a little bit better. The reason why you're attracting negative things is because you had a negative what? Vibe. And the reason why you had a negative vibe is because you had a negative what? And what was inside the thought that caused the negative vibe, that caused the negative result? Negative words. words. So the words you're using are creating the results that you're getting. And the only way to get a different result is to ha send a different vibe. I'll say it again. The only way I can get a different result is to change my vibration. And the only way I change a vibration is to change my what? And the only way to change my thought is to change my what? Words. words. Now, Say yes if you all love that little round button that's on the back of your piece of equipment when something breaks down. It's called a what button? A reset button. Say yes if you love a reset button. <laughs> Ooh, me too. I don't know how they work. I just need to know where it's at. I'm looking for the reset button. And when I press the reset button, it tells my conscious, unconscious mind, this is going to do what to the thing that's broken? It's going to? Reset. It's going to reset and fix it. What if I told you, beside your internal vibrational meter reader, that you had a reset button? Do you want to know more about that? Say yes or no? Yes. You bet. So you could come down to your results box. You could pull off a negative result and say, I don't like the results that I'm getting. Boy, I sure wish I had a what button? Reset. A reset button. So you can reset your results, but you're going to tell me how. I can reset my results by resetting my vibes. And I reset my vibes by resetting my what? And I reset my thoughts by resetting my what? Words. So I've got good news and bad news. The good news is I'm going to tell you the three words in your word box that are creating negative things. And the bad news is most people are using them 300 times before lunch. And they wonder why their life sucks. They wonder why their life's falling apart. And in a short interview, I would say, hey, tell me everything you thought and said since you woke up this morning. And I'd highlight these three words. I'd run out of highlighter. So I'm going to give you some homework between now and the rest of your life. Say yes if you're in. Yes. We'll see about that. So. I'm down in my word box. There's three words in the word box that are causing me to attract negative things. I'm going to pull them out. Here's the first word. Say it nice and loud after me. The first word is don't. No. Uh, here's the next one. The ne next word is not. not. Hey, the next one's only two little tiny letters. What's that word? No. You see, the words themselves aren't negative. I could say don't touch or no onions. That's not negative. But every time I use the word don't, not, and no, I just brought attention and energy and focus to that which I didn't want to bring attention, energy, and focus to. So you're going to be a law of attraction. You're going to eavesdrop to what I give attention to. So when I say I don't want my clients to cancel, what did I give attention to? Canceling clients. Oh, I don't want this to be difficult. What did I give attention to? 
difficult. And don't you love it when your friend says, well, don't be ashamed. It's like, well, I wasn't until you brought it up. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. Don't hesitate to contact me. This is not a scam. Well, I didn't think it was until you brought it up. Matter of fact, you cannot not give attention, energy, and focus when I tell you not to. So if I told you not to picture um, the, the Statue of Liberty, I know that you know that I know that you did say yes or no. Yes. And everything that you give attention, energy, and focus causes you to send the matching vibration of what you gave attention, energy, and focus. And the obedient law of attraction, checking, and checking, and checking. And now you get more of what you said you didn't want. And then when you look at that thing that you said you didn't want, you'll point at it and say, that's exactly what I said I didn't want all week I've been saying that. Is it starting to make sense while you're attracting things that you don't want? Law of attraction doesn't know who we are or who you are. It's obediently unfolding and orchestrating to give you more of what you said you didn't want. Quick little example. I know it's not you, but it could be somebody you know that wakes up first thing in the morning a little bit cranky or irritated. What's that vibe, negative or positive? Yeah, law of attraction is in your bedroom. And now it's checking and checking, catches you, not you, but somebody you know, sending the negative vibration. Then they get up out of bed and they stub their toe. Did that match the negative vibe? And then they run out of coffee and they burn their toast and their printer breaks down and they're late for work and the day gets worse and worse and worse. And we finally say, I should have stay in bed. Okay, it sounds like you've tried that technique before. <laughs> But are you coming to understand why the day got worse and worse and worse? Because law of attraction was checking and matching. matching. And then checking and matching and checking and matching and checking and matching. That's why the day goes on and on and on and on. Or how about that time, uh, for those of you who are in business, maybe first thing Monday morning you had a, cl uh, a client cancel. And then you, call, you go to IHateMyLife.com I hate and you spent 10 minutes complaining about the canceling client. And then you told everybody, oh, can clients are canceling. Guess what? Those words are forming the vibration. It's law of attraction checking and checking. It's picking the vibration of canceling clients and it's obedient. And then you get another canceling client and say, wow, what's going on with me? The day's getting worse and worse and worse. Say yes if you can relate to that story. Yes. yes. Now, here's the better side. How about for those of you that wake up first thing in the morning and you open your email or you pick up your telephone and somebody hired you or bought your product or flirted with you or sent you a love letter or something and you get all excited and you go to ilovemylife.com, you spend 10 minutes out there, you call all your girlfriends and all your business partners and say, wow, I got the best client ever today. Guess what? Law of attraction is checking and checking and checking. Next day, same day, you got a new, another new client. What do you say? Wow, am I ever on a roll. You created that role. Say yes if you said that before I'm on a roll. Yes. You created that role. You see, in your excitement of attracting what you want, it causes you to send the vibration of what you desire. When you send the vibration, law of attraction gives it to you. And then when you get it, you celebrate it. And then you send more. Are you understanding the loop here? There's a lot to be said for celebrating the matches, to celebrate the things that you like. We need to brag more, we need to celebrate more, we need to daydream more. All of those things cause us to attract the more things that we want. So your homework between now and the rest of your life is to eliminate the words don't, not, and no. Now you can use them sometime. You know, if I go to the restaurant, I might say, no cilantro. I'm not expecting like a truckload of cilantro to come out of the sky. <laughs> But when I'm talking about my relationships and my finances and my business and my customers, that's when I want to be very deliberate. Oh, you're still not sure about what I mean? Go to the internet and type in no football. What shows up? Football. Uh, go to the internet and type no anything. You see, the internet strips away the words don't, not, and no and brings you more of what you said you didn't want. How many people here are dog owners? Okay, go home and tell your dog you're not going for a walk. <laughs> Don't go get your leash and the tail's wagging back and forth. <laughs> Dogs don't hear don't, not, and no. The internet doesn't hear don't, not, and no. And guess what? Law of attraction doesn't hear don't, not, and no. But the best news of all is that you can control this by using your reset button. So every time you use the word don't, not, and no, here's the reset sentence. Say it nice and loud for me. So, so. let's try that again. So, so. what do I want? I know it sounds really simple and guess what, I made it that way. Let's test it out. I might say, don't forget, and a little voice says, hey, you just said don't forget, so what do I want? Sorry. Remember, oh, I don't want this to be difficult. Oh, ding, 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 I just said I don't want it to be difficult. What do I want? I want it to be easy. easy. Don't use this door could really say what? Use, use the other door. Don't park here could say what? Park over there. 
over the next couple days, even today, tonight, you're going to catch yourself saying the word don't, not, and no. That's good. It means you're more aware of it. Every time you use the word don't, not, and no, you're going to hear my voice in your head say what? So, what do I want? And here's what happens. When I go from what I don't want to what I do want, the words change. So when I say I don't want this to be difficult, I'm giving attention to difficult. So the new word is I want it to be easy. So when the words change, the thoughts change, when the thoughts change, the vibration changes, and when the vibration changes, what else changes? The results. Remember earlier I said the only way to get different results is to send a different vibration. And I promise you significant results when you eliminate the words don't, not, and no. You'll even go to type the word don't, not, and no. And you'll say, oh, I just used the word don't, not, and no, because you're going to hear Michael Loge's voice in your head. Matter of fact, you cannot not hear my voice in your head say, hey, so what do you want? But I might drive you crazy over the next little while, but trust me, you'll see significant results. And teach everybody in your home to eliminate the word don't, not, and no. Matter of fact, draw a little circle with the word don't, not, and no one and put a line through it. Burn that image into your head. Because every time you talk about what you don't want, you just gave it attention, energy, and focus. And law of attraction is obedient. It doesn't know whether you want it or don't want it, or whether it's good or bad for you, or whether it's healthy or not healthy, or whether it's negative or positive. It is the law. I didn't create it, I'm just teaching it. And I'm teaching you how to stop attracting negative things. You see, a lot of Law of Attraction teaching says, oh, you can attract jewels and cars and boyfriends and girlfriends and money. I can make this promise. It's virtually impossible to attract positive things if you have a negative vibe going on. Does that make sense? Because yes. the negative vibration, and you don't have to be a negative person to be attracting negative things. You just have to be talking about what you don't want. You see, the negative vibe will dilute the positive vibe of your desire. Now. As a trainer, it's really important to me that you remember and retain everything that I told you. And I promise you that you'll remember 100%. What's the number? 100% of everything I told you, because that's a sign of a good trainer. So here's what I'd like everyone to do. I'm going to repeat everything you heard me say, and I'm going to do it in 1.2 minutes, except I've done it about 9,000 times already, so you're going to do it for me. So everybody look up here. And when I do this, it means fill in the... Blanks. Are you willing to participate for 1.2 minutes? Yes? yes? My hunch is you'll remember more in this 30 minutes than a whole semester at university. Is that possible? Yes. yes. Okay, everybody look up here nice and loud. At every moment, including right no. and right, no. everybody has a mood or a feeling. A mood or a feeling. And that mood or feeling has caused you to put off or send out or emit a. I'm not done yet. <laughs> It causes you to send, put out a what? A, a vibe. Now, the vibe's a cute little four-letter word, but it actually comes from the longer word, vibration. vibration. And how many kinds of vibrations are there? Two. Two. What are they? Negative. negative and positive. And when are we sending a negative or positive vibration? Right now. now. So we learn that the words we use are forming the thoughts that we think. And as I hold any thought, it causes me to send a vibration. Remind me of the two kinds again? Po negative and positive. And as I'm holding or having a positive or negative vibration, the obedient law of attraction is checking and checking and checking because it's easy. What's the job description for law of attraction? It's two words long. It is match, match vibrations. Even the negative ones? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How about the positive ones? Yes. yes. So we learn that the results that we're getting are a result of the vibration that I'm sending. But the best news of all, as you observe your life and you don't like some areas, you can say, Ooh, this sure is ugly. I'd like to reset it because you know that you have a what button? A reset, a reset button. So in order for me to reset my results, I need to reset my vibration. vibration. To reset a vibration, I need to reset my what? Thoughts. thoughts. In order to reset my thoughts, I need to reset my what? Words. What are the three words in your word box that are causing you to have negative results? They are? Don't, don't not and no. Because every time I use the word don't not and no, in that very moment, I just gave attention, energy, and focus to that what I didn't want. And the obedient law of attraction will unfold and orchestrate to give me more of it. But now, whether you say the word don't not and no or think about it or read about it, you cannot not press the reset button. When you use the word don't not and no, you're quickly going to say, so what do I want? Because well, when I go from what I don't want to what I do want, the words change. And when the words change, what else changes? The vibe. the vibe change. And when the vibe changes, what else changes? The results. Matter of fact, the only way to get a different result is to send a different what? 
vibration. Give yourself a round of applause. Now, say yes if you want a quick little bonus about how to become more abundant. Yes. yes. You see, everybody wants more money, but guess what? If I took my vibrational read meter reader and said, tell me about money, not you and you, but you know what we'll do? Ee, ee, ee. Just the word money creates a negative vibration. So I don't talk about money. I talk about abundance. And you know what the key secret about abundance is? It's a feeling. Abundance is a feeling. So guess what? I'm standing in my vibe feeling box. If abundance is a feeling, what if I could send the vibration of abundance? What will the obedient law of attraction do to it? It would match it. But if I was on the street, and you know better, but if I was on the street and I interviewed somebody and said, how many minutes a day do you send the vibration of abundance other than thinking I'm crazy, what would the answer be? Zero. Zero. So let's listen to the logic. How can you be abundant if you never send the vibration of abundance? The only way to become abundant is to send the vibration of abundance. So here's the good news. All of you are already abundant, but you're not celebrating it. You're not exercising your abundant muscle. So here's your homework between now and the rest of your life. Is when you can deem that you've attracted something that might have a value to you. you and, and for example, quick little example, how many people got bought dinner or lunch or breakfast in the last two or three days? Okay, traditionally you might say, oh, thank you. Guess what I want you to do now? I want you to stretch the celebration. I want you to know that as you're selling, you could say, wow, am I ever abundant? My friend just bought me breakfast. This is so cool. Matter of fact, not only did my friend buy me breakfast, my friend drove me there. So I had free transportation, I had, and my friend gave me advice. So I had free transportation, free <laughs> breakfast, and free lunch. And now I'm going to brag about it and celebrate it and stretch it. Because the longer I have the vibration of abundance, the more a law of attraction can attract it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So your job now is to become a proof seeker. It's to become a proof seeker and find and prove, oh, I'm abundant here, I'm abundant here. Say yes if this free seminar was abundant, yes or no? Yes. I can tell you, people all over the world have paid hundreds of dollars to hear this same presentation. Say yes if you're abundant. Yes. Say, wow, am I ever abundant? I had some free coaching from Michael Ocean. You can go on and on. So here's the deal. The longer you hold the vibration of abundance, the longer law of attraction can match it. So things that you've already been getting that are abundant, you said, oh yeah, thank you. You kind of, you kind of put it in your vibration, tuck it out again. I want you to get in there. I want you to celebrate it. Matter of fact, I want you to start logging your abundantness every day. So, quick little exercise. If you notice your abundantness and it takes 10 minutes during the day, a minute here, a minute here, a minute here, 10 minutes of vibration of abundance is better than how many minutes? Zero. Zero. So now at nighttime, you're going to log your event. Oh, Michael gave me this just free. I got a free sample from the show. I've got free advice. If you're going to take 10 minutes to log it, what's the total of minutes? 20 minutes. And 20 minutes is better than how many minutes? Zero. I'll repeat myself like I haven't done it already. The only way to become more abundant is to send the vibration of abundance. So I'm going to summarize everything that you heard me say into five words. Matter of fact, I could have come in, said the five words and left, but say yes if the 30 minutes was more fun. Yes. I want you to say it nice and loud for me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. When I give you the words, okay. Say it nice and loud. I, I get, get what I, I vibrate. You don't always get what you want, but you always get what you vibrate. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.